You guys want to see an old school, unique house? Check this one out. I'm in Oak Park, Illinois, the suburb of Chicago, just west of Chicago, about to check out this five bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see what it's priced at. Front porch looks pretty solid. Let's check out this inside though. Okay. Okay, definitely has the uh, vintage feel to it. I kind of like it so far. We've got the hardwood floors aren't in bad condition. We just need somebody to come along and refinish them. Love the staircase, but we'll check out upstairs a little bit later. But first, let's see what's going on with the living room. And it looks like whoever lived here liked the color pink. Even the radiators are painted pink. Got the fireplace, another pink radiator. Yeah, all pink everything. Or maybe that was just that room because you get to this room, everything's red. So this was definitely a uh, colorful owner. Got the stained glass windows. Ooh, look at that old school light fixture, that vintage feel. I like it, even got the, uh, the old school thermostat. You don't see those too much anymore. Now let's step in here. This is a pretty big house actually. We've got, uh, I guess this would be the dining room area, pretty big space. Got another classic vintage light fixture. Though we got the kitchen area. Nothing too crazy, but still good condition. Got the, uh, got your double wall ovens. I'd say this was probably renovated in the 2000s sometime. So not bad condition at all. Uh, looks like I missed something. The layout on the first floor kind of wraps around, but back near the entrance, we have this half bathroom slash powder room. Uh, this is my mistake. I also did notice this when I first came in the home, but check this out. Pocket doors. How cool is that? Just imagine when somebody comes into your home, Welcome. Now that's a cool feature. So far, I'd have to say this is a pretty interesting house. There's a lot of square footage here on this first floor. The layout is also pretty interesting and the cellar kind of went crazy with the paint colors, but I mean, paint is something that could be easily fixed. Now let's go to the back. Let's see if we can check out the backyard. Let me know what you think of this home so far in the comments. And also, if you want a free customized list of properties for sale in the Chicago area, feel free to email me. I'd be happy to send you one. All right, so looks like we go this way and this should be to the backyard. And it looks like we go down there to the basement, but you know, we'll check that out a little bit later. Okay. Door's a little old and loud, but there's a lot of space. Look at all that backyard. This is a huge lot. Actually, this might be a this might be a lot and a half. This well this lot is at least 50 feet. This isn't your average Chicago lot, I can tell you that. Because you've got all of this side yard as well and then back there you got your two car garage very nicely landscaped so if you are looking for a home with a nice big backyard this might be the one for you i uh, found out why i was making that noise half of the door is peeled off so you might want to get that changed out eventually now normally i wait to the end to check out the basement because you just never know what you're gonna get but since we're already here let's see what it looks like Bum, bum, bum. And okay. Once again, another interesting paint job. They were definitely artists. But you got the furnace. Looks pretty good. Wash and dryer looks good. Actually smells pretty good down here too. And you've got, okay, got the water heater back here. Yeah, it looks like this uh, up, but just in case you had to go in the basement, got a little toilet for you. 
All right, but most of this is just pretty unfinished. And you can tell at one point they had some water damage because it looks like they cut out some drywall right here. Normally when you see this, that means at one point they probably had water damage, so the drywall that touched the floor probably got mold on it. So they simply just cut it, moved on, but whether they fixed that issue or not, I'm not sure, but I don't see any, any real signs of water. It's not damp in it. It's not damp down here. But you can tell at one point they did have some sort of issue. Oh, and actually they, here's the boiler. So they have a boiler and a furnace. So the furnace might just be for the essential air. That's what I'm guessing. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you let me know in the comments, right? And now I found this other stairway, so let's see what way, where this leads to. Because I don't remember this door. And, okay. We're right back to where we started. Now let's check out the second floor, but before we do, let's show a little appreciation for the interesting light fixtures in here. I'm not sure what that is. A a swan or whatever, but that is unique. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But let's check out the second floor. Beautiful looking staircase. See what we're working with. And okay, check out this room. One of the bedrooms got the wood paneling, got that just that old school feel. Pretty decent space though. And then you got the drop ceiling, but you see that little spot? That means at least at one point, there was some water getting through from the roof. So that's definitely something an inspector would have to check out. Another vintage light fixture. The second bedroom. This one's a little bit smaller. Got the closet full of wallpaper. And we've got the bathroom with the with the old school bathtub and sink. You can tell this wasn't changed since, I don't know, the 50s, 60s. And the sink's even still running a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll check out the, the old school light fixture. Yeah, this bathroom hasn't been touched in a while. Look at the wallpaper, though. Wallpaper don't look that bad, actually. All right, let's check it out in here. Bedroom number three. This looks more like an office. Okay, definitely an interesting layout. And in here, there is no floor, so there was probably carpet at one point, but it's a pretty big, pretty big bedroom. Got your his and hers closet. But it definitely needs some renovation. If you, you know, get, a, get some flooring put down in here, this is a nice space. And it could also, of course, use a paint job because you can tell it hasn't been painted in a while because you can see what they hung their uh, pictures. Now let's see. Oh, is this the primary bathroom? They went with the purple in here. Once again, Digging the interesting light fixtures. Okay. Oh, and it looks like it's also shared with this room, which also had the carpet pulled out. But there's some, there's a lot of square footage in here. There's some good size. This is a lot of house. This is a lot of house. So they listed it at five bedrooms, but I think technically it's only four because you've got the two over here. Then you have, I believe they're counting this one as a third, but if you count this as a bedroom, then you can't count this bedroom back here because there is no way to get to this bedroom without going through another room. You can't call something a room if you have to go through another room to get to it. So it's really only four bedrooms and kind of like an office area. But once again, it's a lot of space. 
So the second floor, I would say definitely needs at least some cosmetic updates. Some of the rooms don't have floors, so you would have to put flooring down, whether you want to put down some more carpet or do hardwood floors or, you know, whatever your taste is. The bathroom, I would say to at least take a look at because the sink is just running, so you want to make sure you don't have a plumbing issue there. And then kind of renovate it as you see fit. All right, so for this home in Oak Park, listed at five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a lot of the original features are still in the home. The upstairs especially could use some cosmetic renovations, but there's a lot of square footage here. How much does a property like this cost? Currently, this home is being listed at 629000 Let me know what you guys think about this home in the comments. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell in the Chicagoland area, feel free to reach out to me.